Let me first thank you for being here. Um, we need your help. On Saturday night, Sunday morning, we had a uh, very tragic accident happen. Um, in any accident where, where, where death occurs it is tragic and untimely. Uh, in this case, we had an accident occur at or about 1.26 a.m. Sunday morning. This is the night of Saturday at or about the 2400 block of West Expressway. Now, if you're traveling on the expressway westbound, it's at about where the Coca-Cola plant is, right around 29th Street in that area right there. Um, the victim in this case is a 20-year-old by the name of Julio Cesar Lacayo. Uh, he is a resident of Mission. And his, he's on the expressway. His car stalls out. He pulls over to the shoulder. Um, in the process of over uh, some time, finally gets some help over to him. Uh, first his dad and then a tow service to come over and help him. Uh, so at the time of the accident, at time of the collision, and, and I'm saying an accident right now, but the fact that, um, the fact that people left the, the scene of the accident uh, makes this a criminal matter, so I don't, I don't want to make less of it. This is a criminal, this has criminal implications for the people involved in this particular situation. And very serious uh, criminal charges are, are due. So uh, his car, his vehicle stalls, and after help gets there, um, everyone's at, at the particular uh, site by the 2400 block of, of the expressway. And um, then comes um, what we believe are three vehicles traveling at a high rate of speed westbound on the expressway. We have some representations of vehicles up here. Uh, what, what do we ask of you today? Uh, and I've told you this before, if we, ever, if we ever bring stuff to you this way, we're really telling you we need help. I mean, I've told you that time and again. Whenever we bring out a picture to you and say, would you do this, we're just telling you we need help. We're telling you today, we need your help today. We need, we need the help of citizens today to look at neighbors, to look at friends, to look at family, and see if they recognize any one of these vehicles we're going to describe to you. Because they were involved in this fatality. A 20-year-old died at 1.30 in the morning, and they left that person and his family, his dad particularly, at the, at the scene um, as if he were um, a discarded uh, uh, um, body at that time. Um, suspect vehicle number one is what we think is a dark colored pickup truck, like the one described up here. That vehicle and a suspect vehicle number two, another pickup truck, but light in color are essentially uh, what, we, what we, we feel like they may be racing um, on the expressway. Um, with a third vehicle behind them, a convertible that is described like this. Uh, I'm corrected. I'm told that the, the person that had went that had gone to help him was a friend of his, not his dad. I'm sorry. So I want to be clear on that. So we have these three vehicles essentially uh, traveling at a high rate of speed on the expressway, westbound. The black pickup truck loses control and spins on the freeway, ultimately colliding into the rail guard and ultimately colliding into the, uh, into the victim's vehicle, pinning him and killing him outside. We know that in the dark colored pickup truck, there were two people in that pickup truck. We know that in the convertible, there were three girls in the convertible right behind it. And we know there's at least one person in a light colored truck. All of these people, if we can ever identify them and haven't been part of this, are subject to prosecution in this case. So we're asking you to communicate to them to step forward and help us clear this case as soon as possible, number one. Number two, the vehicle with damage is a dark pickup truck. So we're asking people to look around, see if they know someone that has a pickup like that, see if it's all of a sudden not, maybe in the garage, it's not being driven, and maybe it's got damage. If you're an owner of a car repair shop and you see one of these come to you, you know, give us a call. 
we're highly interested in finding this particular vehicle so that we can pin responsibility for this um, terrible crime. So with that said, uh, uh, the essence of today is asking you to get this information out to, uh, to our community. And uh, you, of all people, have the best means to do that. Uh, and we would appreciate your help in getting this, this out um, so that we can uh, hopefully uh, accelerate the means by which we clear this particular case.